Welcome to the WBC Arena. They've been talking the talk. It's now time to walk the walk. I'm Todd Grisham. Alongside me is Johnny Nelson. Todd, it's going to be an amazing night. As per usual, everybody's going to benefit. It's time for our tale of the tape. Sugar Ray Robinson, 5 foot 11 inches tall with a reach of 72.4 inches. And he'll be facing Amir King Khan, 5 foot 8 inches tall, 146 pounds with a 71 inch reach. Sugar. Just bowed it. All the talking has. Here we go for round one. surrounding this fight. The fans are on the edge of their seats. God, listen to them. Listen to them. You can, you can hear the noise, but you don't know what they're saying. It's not loud. I'm sorry, man. I'm shouting you here. I'm sorry. Nice counter shot. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. He fails to score with that left hook. scoring shot there. The counterfighter relies a lot on their instincts and reaction time. You've got to get in there quick to punch your opponent before he gets his fist back to block. It has got great ring by two. Counter punches are the best. you're fighting a counter puncher, the feint can be such a good weapon. Pretend you're going to punch, make the counter puncher throw a punch, and then you counter them. This round could go either way. Ten seconds to go. That was almost a 10-8 round. Complete dominance. You can't leave it up to the judges. It's up to you as a fighter. And the tournament's got to put a firecracker on that fighter. Get out there and get the job done. And here's the bell to start round two. for these two. The counterfighter relies a lot on their instincts and reaction time. You've got to get in there quick to punch your opponent before he gets his fist back to block. You'll find to the counter puncher who's got a dummy shot. Make them react from that, then react then. I know it's hard to think that way, but counter punchers are watching you, watching you every move, every throw. Punch. It's another scoring shot. Nice exchanges from both men in this one. And he misses with the left uppercut. an early night here. He is rocked. Oh, and that changes everything. And down they go. One, two, three, four. Ah.
Is there any way back into this fight after the beating? The bell rings and we start the third. And he just missed with that left. Setting at this moment the entire fight, he's got to cash in now. And it appears the onslaught is over, at least for now. Hey, those punches add up. How do they use this fighter's aggression against them? How would you deal with an aggressive fighter? What you do is you fight, fire, will fight. You either give it them back because that's where they're comfortable, or you play calm, play cool. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. You can tell he's stronger, but he's not faster. Defending themselves. Shot with the left. This is not how the story was supposed to go for Amir Khan. And Amir Khan finally on the canvas. that knockdown's gonna be. Here we go in round four. Who's going to land the first big shot? You're a power puncher. You're not as concerned with how many punches you throw. It's about how many you land and how hard they are. It's the one who draws first blood touch. That's what you've got to look at. If you pick and you know you're in there with a banger. You've got to be on it, but you've got to be confident. He gets out of the way of that left hand. He threw the hook, didn't land. Punches and bunches, that's the mantra for this fighter with that exceptional hand speed. Having so much speed, what happens to your opponent is you get cut to ribbons, and that's where the referee has to jump in and stop the fight. And you know this is gonna happen, so you rush your work, you think, I've gotta get him inside close rounds. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. Nice exchange here from both men. Punch landed. Good punch. Coming back to life now. Starting to land some punches. This round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. The body work has taken its toll. You can see the pain on his face. Man, oh man, you know what? He's got a hook. On to the fifth we go. There's no doubt that this fighter's power can change the fight around in an instant. You can't afford to make one single minor mistake. God, we know one of these fighters can knock you out with a simple jab. They're that powerful. I punch. He 
can tell he's stronger, but he's not faster. Neither man really defending themselves. Correct me if I'm wrong, but when you're dealing with someone with so much speed, you've got to get your timing right. What you've got to do, Tony, is anticipation. You've got to wait. You've got to, you've just got to throw caution to the wind and just hope you're never going to know where the shots are coming from. You've just got to put in a guess. Punch scores. after another knockout win here. Oh, what a shot. What a shot. You see shots like that in the gym. At least for once, this is on TV. Thousands around the world saw that shot. They probably even heard it.